how to start cutting cords and energetic connection with your ex. So imagine that we have different types of body, physical body, energetic body, emotional body. So when we live with someone, we are very connected with them on many levels. Um, not only physically, but emotionally, mentally, um, and energetically. So even when we break up uh, or have divorce, and this also is um, valid for when you fell out with someone, your friend, uh, someone else, it's very valid to this. Uh, you may still thinking about them. Uh, you feel like you cannot move, let go of things. Uh, this is a syndrome, one of the things you can see that probably I am called to this person energ energetically. So how to help yourself? Either you ask someone to do it for you, which is very effective. So I highly recommend it if you know someone. Um, you can also connect with me. I can do it this for you uh, online or offline. And you can also help yourself. So this is how I'm gonna show you how to help yourself. So number one, you need to connect with your body. So close your eyes and then scan your body from top of your uh, head down to your toes and just scan your body. And when you think about, for example, this person, you may have sensation in your body, like this intuition will tell you where those cords are very often are in your heart, in your chest, in your throat, or in your belly. This is very common. So scan your body and just see if there is any cords. It can be with any person. Like I said, it can be with your uh, uncle, your friend, your neighbor, especially when you had some disagreements and conflicts. Super easy uh, to be called that. Um, so scan your body and if you notice that um, there is some density or there are some cords, you can uh, declare, I no longer need to hold it and you can send them back this. I'm sending them back or you're sending this to light and love. So you can do this and just literally see how the energy is going. Yes, if you have conflict and I've seen this again, I've worked with a few clients where they went through the process of divorce. Um, for example, the other partner, wife or husband was so angry with that person that uh, she or he was sending all the time those energetic cords, you know, like constantly talking bad about this person. Yeah, people will call you when they talk badly about you, um, wishing you bad, you know, being very negative about you. This is how they can call you. So you can learn how to protect yourself or keep scanning yourself, keep tuning and send them back or send things to light and love. You can use also crystal. Some people using crystal, I don't use, but I know some people are using crystal. So you can get, for example, uh, quartz and wherever you feel, of course, charge this, quor uh, this crystal and program this uh, crystal to help you to release this energetic cords and then you can use that wherever it is in your body you can just use that as well powerful way is using energy healing if you don't know ask someone to do it for you it's super powerful to release this kind of stagnant energy dense energy from someone else uh, so whether you know how to do it um, there are many modalities uh, so you can help yourself or just reach out to someone who is doing exactly that so but you can also do a lot by yourself you can even do in meditation as well you can see how you're releasing this energy and sending them back as well or sending to light and love so you can use meditation as well if it's something deep i would highly recommend if you keep doing by yourself and you're still feeling those chords this means there is something differ, deeper and often what is underneath it's um, hurt not not being uh, healed yet so for example there is still you feeling hurt you feeling rejected you feeling abandoned it triggered your um, for example beliefs I'm not lovable I'm not good enough I'm not worthy of love if this is the case then 
hi i highly recommend working with someone on that because it's gonna be very difficult for you to move on um if you have those beliefs and most likely you may attract someone else again who will reinforce the same belief system so this requires some healing and this requires some inner work so see what you can do by yourself and if you can't reach out to someone um, I'm a healer and coach if you need also any support on that um, I'm using different modalities and can help you with this and many other things as well so if you like this video subscribe uh, like it and if you have any questions just type them in the comments and see you in the next video